Yes, right here's the world beater, Hamzat Shimaev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon. Whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamzat Shumayev that thinks separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Shumayev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. officially taken this sport by storm. His fight against Gilbert Burns back at UFC 273 probably is gonna end up in the Hall of Fame. But Hamzat didn't want to talk about that this week at all. He wants a quick night at the office. He wants to get a finish and actually said he believes it's gonna materialize on the feet and not the ground. We shall see. Oh, vicious uppercut. Wow. Massive head kick. A lot of power on display from Kamal Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Oh, looking for the gay lock now, might have the guillotine. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Usman. Come back with another punch. Using a lot of good movement. 
Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. I need you to use that wrist control. Usman's in half guard. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Kamaru Usman. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. You go here. How about the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat? The moment they came close, he knows. I got to fire in my hips, load you up, and throw you. That's exactly what he did. Just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot. Shumayev's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. All right, late in the round now, and more of the same. Kamal Usman, rinse, repeat. His opponent hasn't had anything resembling an answer for the rest of Well, he has not had an ability to stay upright. In the moment you show Kamaru that you have an issue with his takedowns, he will go to the well continuously. That's exactly what he's done tonight, and that is why he's far ahead in this fight. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Oh, he got to the spot. Bring it down. Bring it down. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Great submission defense. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming by. A lot of times, people throw six. Oh, oh hip toss to get him down. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Relentless pressure from the top by Chimaya. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round underway. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of Habib Nurmagomedov yes. versus Michael Johnson. 
Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Just able to get to a great posture, control the feet, and land every single strike with vicious intent. It's hard to do that without losing your opponent. This young man has mastered. He has mastered ground and pound fight. Take the elbows and get to the half guard. Good solid strike on the ground. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Shimaev's back in half guard. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than the half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Usman. Three minutes now to go in round two. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Kamaru Usman. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Let's work for that Come on. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right? It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Usman. Massive shot from the top. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Relax. Keep those hands high. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Hamza Chimai. Change of the position. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's time to work. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Back mount now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing watch. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. 20 seconds left. Shimaev's back to the north-south position now. Get them out here. Big right hook there by the champ. Good oh. roll. Hey, stop. Definitely not good. We need this next round. Okay, we need to get back up. He 
is taking you down right away. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, you. where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Here we go with the next round. We'll see if he can pick up where he left off. No reason really to change anything when he threw more often than not he was landing. He was landing over and over again, and that is just a testament of the accuracy, of the striking acumen of this fight. Gets to the single collar tie. Usman gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Dars. Yep, he's trying to hit a Dars here. That Dars is tight. Back and forth in the submission defense work, wins this transition. Work. Good work from the top here by Usman. Keep on, keep on. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Us. Three minutes. Oh, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter, and to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside position. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's gonna take a look at him, check out the swelling, give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him and decide whether or not he can continue. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it when he oh. lets it continue, especially when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back on the ref. Gets us right back on the way, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did. And I could not be happy. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pass. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. And there you go. Again, half guard. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Shimaev's right back to the full mount. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye. Not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. 
He's been battered, he's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you understood that if he didn't change something, it would get much worse. He didn't change anything, and now we're here. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Usman's in half court. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. He's got to start throwing now. Shemayev's going for an arm here. Oh, that's tight. Oh. All right, that's three rounds oh. in the books. We are headed to the oh. championship rounds. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Usman's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? You ready? Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, another shot gets through. Doctor might have to step in soon. Usman getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Mm, nice. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Now he's going full mount. Give me that wrist control. Let's go. He's got to be careful here. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Shimaev's in half court. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Usman. Under three minutes to go in round four. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Shimaev gets tattooed by that elbow. These are raining down now on the ground. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. A series of punches from the top here by Usman. Great shot from the top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. 
Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Usman. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that, oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. He's going to try to fall off to the side and pull his opponent up on top of him. And right on cue, there he is, falls to the side. Looks like his opponent's trying to work with the choke. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. Oh, good defense, yes. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Another ground and pound strike lands. Side control now. Oh, right into Mount. 15 seconds. He's got to be careful here. Ah, 20 ah. minutes in the can, five to go. All right, so that round is in the books. Usman's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice takedown defense. And now some separation. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. All oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. He's having his way with him here. Oh, now he's attacking arm triangle. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. It looks like the arm triangle's getting very close. Now he's got to get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Usman's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, a good shot landed there from the bottom. Nice defense. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Fight. Back to his feet. 
right, so we go down the stretch. He is clearly losing this fight. And at this point, you just abandon position and go for submission, yes? Yeah, you got to just go. You got to start throwing things at the wall and hope something sticks. Usman's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. Shimaev's got his head looking for a guillotine choke. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze, but not too much. He's got to get the guard locked and try to find a submission. Continuing to work for a submission here. He's going to have to fight to get this in. remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there great technique to set up the finish all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he does a great job of staying patient he doesn't rush or panic you are never safe when you're fighting this guy you're in a lot of trouble you're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hobbs and Bors What a tremendous performance. Granted, a lot of people felt like he might win by submission, but these are high-level fighters that Chimaev continues to dust. Yeah, he's dominating. I mean, he's taking guys, world-class guys, and making them look average. He takes you down, he starts to... He takes you down, he moves to his position, and he gets finishes. Tonight, it's a submission victory against another tough opponent. And now we'll see how quickly they turn him around, but congratulations to Kamzat Chimaev.